time for your Baby Gate update. Brought to you by Doctors Goodman, Partridge, OBGYN. Now the funny thing is, Pink and I would actually be in about the same, the same position uh, or the same, I guess, time frame, right? Yes, time for yes. You guys are as far you are as far We're both along third trimester. as Pink is. Yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna log this kind of like Captain's log. Okay. Okay. Pregnant log. Okay. Baby gate. Day one. Check in one. Okay. So far, I. Uh, I'm, I'm a little short of breath. Yes. I've got the suit on officially. Everything is uh, strapped in and shaped up and all that stuff. Of course, the videos are online at 98.7thfeet.com. Right. We'll have more. We'll have more coming in. I'm a little short of breath, mm-hmm. and it's become a little bit of a pain in the butt to get up. Yes, and it's kind of funny because I now know this, and I'm like, hey, Parker, come and hey, look come at this. come look at this. Come look at this. And we sit on, on opposite <laughs> sides of, the, of the, the radio board here, so right. we're in the studio. So I, got, I have to get up, and I do, I, it's funny. When you see it on, on TV, you really have to get up like that. So, guys... That's legit right there. That, they're not hamming that up. Craving anything yet? Um, yes. What? Ravioli. Ooh. Chef oh. Boyardee ravioli. Not, so not really good stuff, but like Chef Boy. I want, rav- I want ravioli. Oh, that sounds really good. SpaghettiOs? And bell peppers. But what? I don't know. That's just what I want right now. All right. All right. That's uh, Baby Gates. Your Baby Gates. Day one. Check in one update. Perfect. We'll keep you posted as we go along. And again, that's uh, that's brought to us by uh, the, the the website, or it's not the website, but uh, momdocs.com. Yeah, you can go check out that, and there are uh, some folks here in town that can help you out. It's time for your Baby Gate update. Brought to you by Doctors Goodman, Partridge, OBGYN. It's also momdocs.com. Okay, that's the website they can go check out. Yeah. They want to get some more information. Um, I don't have a lot. I'll be honest. I don't have a lot to report as of now. Yes, you do. You've been complaining for the past three hours. What? Uh, what I guess what I'm saying is I'm imagining it's going to get a lot worse I, as as the uh, week goes on. I start trying to live normal life. Okay, let me throw this out there for you. Here's the yeah. thing, people. I don't know if you realize what you've done. So you wanted Parker to have to live as a pregnant woman, saying that you know it's it's really hard, which we all know it's really hard. Guys Obviously, can't handle yeah. it. But here's the thing. What? Not only are you punishing him, you're punishing me Why? because I have to sit here and I have to listen to the complaining and I have to smell the gas and I have to. It's really you do that smell. anyways. You do that every day. Yeah, you, you this like is you're worse. Something new. Yeah, but normally we can have it not Arctic temperature in here. Ugh. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? All things considered. Yeah, I will say this. Oh. <laughs> I, obviously, I don't have the hormonal things rocking. And there's no way to simulate that. But uh, I am way out of breath from this thing, and I haven't done anything at all. Yeah, and you're running hot. And uh, Yeah, I had to have the air cranked down, and they made to go put a sweatshirt on because I was sweating. <laughs> well, I just, I wonder, if it does it kick you at random times? Whenever I move. Okay, good, good. <laughs> and does it lodge up in your rib cage? Um, I have two billiard balls that are literally lodged into my bladder. <laughs> okay, yeah, but then the, the then the legs start to lodge up in your rib cage. I, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. However, it's got the way this suit works. There's straps on the back, and they're they're pretty tight. Yeah. I mean, they're they're oh. tightened down. So it's I mean, it's choked up against my against my rib cage. It's enough to take the breath away. Well, now the other thing you should expect, and when it does hit you, um, come over. I will. I will help channel this. Oh, but um, nesting, oh, you just yes. start cleaning like a mad, well, a madman in your case. Uh, well, I can tell you this: if you if uh, if you help channel that, then my <laughs> my girlfriend will kill you because she's gonna be like, if he's gonna do any cleaning, he's doing it at this house right here. <laughs> well, I do have gas. Oh my god! Oh, it's totally different. It's like gas at regular intervals. <laughs> it's pretty regular. Oh, yeah, it's very regular, Michelle. Unfortunately, oh, it's not I'm coming sorry. out of my mouth. No, every 40 minutes, we can pretty much count on a bomb being let go in here. Oh, I'm sorry, Amy. I know, me too, love. <laughs> I don't know. Is pregnant gas usually smelly? Apparently, yes, it is. Is it? Okay. Yes. I, 260-9870. Guessing from what I smell in here right now. Okay. 260-9870-411-987. What should I be expecting? Because I'm hypothetically in my third trimester right now with the suit on right and we want to okay. make this as realistic as possible right. we're even having chris is having his first uh, or his i guess his ob mm-hmm. appointment today momdocs.com thank you so much we're going to find out the sex of the baby yes. we're going to have a sonogram we will have the picture up for you tomorrow up online so you can see it okay congrats i don't know there's a few there's a few of the the symptoms here mm-hmm. they have got a, a list of 10 icky pregnancy sign effects oh God. uh it says i'll just read a few of them gas and bloating okay, got, right, got the gas thing rocking yep um constipation Oh, yeah. That's not going to happen. Uh-huh. Um, excessive salivation. I already drool. Not a problem. Hemorrhoids. I don't know how to simulate that. I'm going to try. Oh, I had that when I was training. 
Um, itchy skin. <laughs> can you give me that rash that you got? Uh, sure. I can. Um, Thank and you. nosebleeds. They said nosebleeds too. Really? Yeah, and I'm not Why? Charlie Sheen, so I don't do nearly enough. Uh, Why is that? Activity for that. I, don't I know. wonder. Four one one nine eight seven. That's the uh, text number. There. Go ahead and give me any symptoms I should be expecting, or better yet, guys too. Um, what experience? What symptoms did your wife or girlfriend go through? When she was pregnant, what did you have to deal with? Okay, and here, for my benefit, tell yep. me how you dealt with it, please. <laughs> this is not cool, Pete. I have to pee. Hurry up. Okay. 98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. Chris and Amy in the morning. Baby date this week. All week long. Pregnancy suit. 24 hours a day. Mm-hmm. Kelly, what's happening? Nothing. How you feeling? Uh, I'm doing well. Kelly, is this the Kelly that challenged me to wear this pregnancy suit? Yes, it is. What's your problem? No. Kelly, uh, Kelly, you know what? I love you, but I don't like you right now. <laughs> I know, baby. I'll buy you a drink, Amy. Okay, come oh, on. I'm going to need That's what she needs is more alcohol, yeah. <laughs> that's how we got in this predicament to begin with. <laughs> this first day, obviously, at least the first couple hours are going to be, they're kind of fun, tongue-in-cheek, you know, that sort of thing. I am starting to feel some effects of this suit. But I would imagine that by even tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday, it's just going to be a different ball game. I know. Are you sleeping in it? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. The only time I get to take it off is when I shower. Okay, fair enough. No baths, just a shower. Yeah, just because it's a lot of material there. Yeah, Kelly. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, you don't want to ruin it. The suit was donated by the Teen Outreach Pregnancy Services uh, place there down in Mesa, teenoutreachaz.org. Also, your boobs start to leak. Your milk oh. starts coming in, and you'll wake up, and your shirt, you're just soaked. Right. Or you'll be out and you'll hear a baby cry or you'll hear a microwave go off and you'll just start leaking all over the place. There's like oh. there's triggers? What are you, Pavlov's dog? I think so because you've got your milk ducts working. Am I right, Kelly? Yeah. And so when a baby starts to cry, your hormones are going to go, oh, my God, it's feeding time. And so... Well, I actually know what that's kind of like. I mean, granted, it's not it's not the leaking, but you, all guys out there know that if, you know, if a wind blows or anything like that, you know... Oh, uh, same? No. Same, same, but different? Different. No. no. Wow. Way totally different. Sorry. Way but. off base. 98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. Baby gate update oh, going God. on all week long. I'm Chris Barker. I'm Amy Van Dyken. And uh, <laughs> if you haven't heard, I am with child all week. Oh, uh, God. I have jumped into this this pregnancy challenge thing. Uh, but we're we're estimating anywhere uh, between between seven and a half to eight and a half months of pregnancy, right? Yes. Um, I've got an extra 30 pounds strapped onto my belly. My ribs are restricted. Mm-hmm. They've got tight belts around them. And I've got two billiard balls that are literally digging right into my bladder. Yeah. And this I, is funny. And I just spilled... They, with the suit, they have these two <laughs> fake foam... Boobs. Boobs. And I just literally spilled on my chest for the first time. How did it feel? I don't know. I just I was like, oh my God. I spilled on my... <laughs> Can I tell you that this is really funny from my angle because you're kind of a, a pain in the booty as a I pregnant woman. I haven't been that bad, have I? You haven't so been far? that good. You, I, you really? I mean, you're sitting there going, my back hurts, I got gas, you're burping, you're tooting, you're, I mean, you've got, it's everywhere. One person on Facebook, uh, Megan Bellinger, uh-huh. said, ah, ha, 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 told you it wasn't going to be easy to be pregnant. And I've never said, I will say this, I never said it was going to be easy. No, no, no. You never no, did I say just, it was going to be I easy. I just said we could do it. we got a few text messages in, too. That's right. We've got one that says, uh, when I was pregnant, crazy snoring. Also, um, there are certain things when you use the restroom that you can't do when they were that big. Right. Um, so there's that one. It says, actually, it's good for Amy to experience the partner side of it also. Having to deal with the pregnant person's complaints, the oh. AC, etc. Already done and done. I've had to uh. deal with the air conditioner. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. You're wearing a short sleeve shirt. You're breathing hard. You're complaining about your back. <laughs> you're talking about how hungry you are. I'm not kidding. I really am out of breath. And I, I'm wondering how much of this pregnancy is going to be placebo effect and how many, you know, because there really are a lot of restrictions and, and little devices that kind of poke and prod and weigh you down on the suit. But how mm-hmm. much how much of the placebo effect of the pregnancy experience am I going to get to really? I don't know. So far, there's been a lot of it that you've been doing. Yeah. So we'll see. So we'll keep you posted. Yep. It's time for your Baby Gate update. Brought to you by Doctors Goodman, Partridge, OBGYN. 98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. Chris and Amy in the morning. Another Baby Gate update as I attempt to climb the mountain that is carrying a baby. This is brought to you by MomDoc.com. Go to that out. MomDoc. We've got a pregnant man in here, and I can tell you as being his significant, uh, at least for the morning, um, whatever. I, I'm not ready to kill him. Oh, I got news for you, sister. I, I don't know who the I don't know who the 
I don't uh, know who the responsible party is on this one. Well, they need to be suffering, not me. I mean, really? Um, just to keep kind of, we're kind of trying to keep you in the play-by-play on this, and of course, we'll have pictures and videos and all that fun stuff as as I go through life for the next week. I uh, bring you up to speed. I've got a uh, an official. They call what they call them empathy suits. Empathy suits. Empathy yep. suit. An official empathy suit, which is a pregnant suit, um, coming equipped with uh, uh, heels in the bladder. Uh, we've got the restriction belt on. It's very oh. difficult to breathe. Extra thirty pounds. Um, I mean, they, they really went all out on this thing. So I'm going to be wearing this for the next five days, yep. 24 hours a day. And Jeez. we get to take it off the shower. So let me ask you this. How have you been feeling already? I mean, I can tell you, I, let me tell you what, I, what I've what i noticed of you. Okay? Yep. First of all, I've heard people down the hallway <laughs> say you can actually hear him huffing and puffing in the microphone. Yeah, I'm out of breath. Um, I am wearing a sweatshirt. You are wearing a T-shirt and you want to take it off. I'm You're so hot. I'm roasting right now, yeah. Uh, you've been starving. Your back is killing me. You've had to go tinkle, and you've already had a problem with that. Can I tell you the worst part about this whole thing? Because like you said, the back hurts a little bit, a yeah. lot of breath Yeah. for doing nothing like I'm doing. Uh, but the worst part is when I had to go to the bathroom, and this is a big thing for guys. It's like a big knock on our manhood. I had to sit down to, to number one. Brit to tinkle? You had to yeah, I had down? to, yeah, because there's just no Why? way. Because it cause balance is off, and I don't want to make a mess, and... <laughs> So you'd think that the worst part about wearing this thing is having to walk into a men's bathroom with a pregnancy suit on. That's the most embarrassing thing, right? Right. No, it's not. It's having to go in and sit down to... Why is that so demeaning tinkle. for, for I don't know why it is, but it totally is. Well, it's going to be a week of that, my friend. Which will probably make my girlfriend happy because then, you know, there will be the bathroom will be clean. Yeah. Well, girls know? don't like that. That's the worst part of the whole thing. Oh, God. Not to my manhood. We'll keep you updated online, 987thepeak.com. 